Welcome back to a brand new video. In between episodes, I have been building nonstop as I was tearing out all of the sand in this area to plant our wheat field. I definitely have bigger and better plans for this, this shoreline, but for now, I needed a place to mass produce wheat. Also, I was building this, this carrot farm that is definitely not full yet, but in the last episode, we built this bee farm which has been pretty productive. We have not helped our new friend out in here yet, but we'll get to there in a minute. But this honey farm has been producing. Getting some honey bottles, definitely filling up on all the honeycomb, which will help us get some new access to blocks like the beehive. I love the way this build turned out and everyone else seemed to like it. So I'm glad. We're definitely gonna need some villagers for this next project as we're going to be making a honey powered wheat farm or bee powered wheat farm but we'll get there when the time comes with all of these projects and all of these terraforming projects and going back into this forest there's a slight problem and has to do with this building see i love this starter house and the little storage area inside of it is great but that's for items that don't need a ton of storage. And my problem is, is that I've been filling up on sand, spruce logs and birch logs, and I don't want to be producing a barrel monster uh, as much as we have been. Filling up on cobblestone, we're almost full of sand, and our log storage is a mess. I'm very much not a shulker monster or chess monster kind of guy. I've always liked to make the elaborate sorting system that it's the all in one that you never have to leave. If I'm building in this world, I want to be out exploring the world and all of the things that I've built. So I love that storage room, but being full on so many materials, I don't want to make just one storage room that I'm standing in for the rest of the time that I play in this world. I want to have different areas that if I need to go get logs, I can go to like a log mill or if I need some stone, I can go into my into my mine. I think it makes things interesting. But the first thing that we need to crack on with today is this dock area. If I go into a little free cam here, this whole side to me sticks out like a sore thumb. I think this little cove here I've been digging in between episodes. I definitely want to make this feel more cohesive, feel more unique. I love this area and I think it's turned out pretty cool so far, but to take it to that next step, we need to set the foundation for what the rest of the area is going to look like. So let's get to building. I may have been a little bit busy, but this dock area just looks so good now. These videos are just for fun. And so I have been just hanging out, placing some blocks, and it turned out to be a pretty cool dock area. Now, this area is very much unfinished. I definitely want to add some overgrowth and uh, this even piece of it is going to be a future atlas project 
and problem. Um, but it's areas like this that I really just love to kind of blank out, add some details as I go, and start to plan for the future a bit. Like here, we might have a little boat ramp. Maybe goes up to a, a large ship or something. Got my small boat. Man, <laughs> these kind of details, I, I just love to do. I may have bit off a little more than I could chew because I definitely started doing this side and then realized mm, I should probably lay out a couple more builds before I do that. In terms of the bee farm, it has been running insanely well. But for the next part of that farm, I'm going to need some villagers. And I'm going to need one more beehive. And I just can't get one to grow. It's like a 5% chance. So eventually we'll grow. We also made some friends. Now, thank you. And I started to plan out the next area for our next project. I love the way this project came out and I can't wait to keep doing more like it. So this is why you can kind of see here, I've just mentally started planning like this and I covered up this hole over here. But there is so much forest to clear and there's so much area that we're going to have to work through to really get this place to be how we, we like it. Like this big, big hole over here, I, I'll have to fill it in if I ever want to build something up here. So slow but steady. There is one thing. I really want to do this episode, if not this episode, next episode, is I want to find a trial chamber. It's these brand new all copper dungeons. And I have no idea where they are, but all I know is they're experimental features in 121. And I really want to test one out just going in blind, seeing what kind of loot we get. I know like the breezes and some some mobs in there, but I think it'd be really fun to just full send it and see what happens. I'm going to keep chipping away at all these resources for this next build. So we can start to store our logs up in its own designated place. I do need to make a villager breeder, but I really don't feel like doing that this episode. So that'll probably be next episode and maybe we'll just tackle that. Can you, can you stop? I'm going to just hide behind the street. Probably an iron farm or something next episode because I really could not. I can't be bothered to try to do any villager breeding or anything like that in this episode. But this area is coming along pretty cool. I, I really I do enjoy it. I do need to expand this way. But man, th this is just as much as villager breeding is over here. I don't feel like. I know exactly what I want to do in the direction of the bee farm. I know exactly what I want to do in the direction of this. But spanning out in this direction feels so much, so much like a later project that I'm okay with just leaving it for now. And I'd much rather complete it instead of going this way. I'd much rather complete this side as we stare at it all the time. So let me Keep on grinding for some resources. And I'll check back in if I find trial chamber. I really want to find one. Just because I want to see if they're really hard or if they're another one of those things. It's like the end. The end isn't that hard. Zombie spawners, not that hard. Oh, B. Hold on. Ow. How, how do I get out? Yo, what's pop? I'm so glad that that happened. On camera, come here. Get in there. This guy's gonna drive me crazy, bro. And the problem is, is I have like flowers all over my house. So these guys just, these guys just be flying. There's so much we have to do. So I'm gonna keep knocking out this area. And if I find anything cool, I'll bring you guys along the way.
Hi. Um, I've been mining resources, and we found this very large, tough brick wall. Oh, I have, I have no idea. Genuinely, I have no idea what these things hold. I just know they are large copper structures. I don't know if this. I mean, we're pretty deep. It's like, I only imagine it goes upward. To be honest, okay, we're not going to do this right now because my inventory is full and I know you can get some decent loot out of this. I promise. By the end of this episode, we will do this trial, trial chamber. Let me get home and show you what I've been working on. Getting back from the mine and now I really want to go do that trial chamber, but I was in the middle of building what we're doing right now hopefully by the end of this episode we can do that trial chamber because i'm really pumped <laughs> complete panic set in while i was mining and i was trying to unmute my mic as fast as possible because just hearing those wind noises while i was mining was was so weird let me show you guys what i've been working on so i made this little little tree here a little custom tree i'm pretty happy with it and i also started on the wood mill it's a little different than anything else i've really built but so far i really enjoy it i've had to clear back some of this hill and it's a little plain and flat but i really like the make sure i'm not gonna get blown up here I really like the top of it i'm still working on it as you can see all the scaffolding but so far I don't mind it at all. And this area back here is where we're going to do all of the storage for the logs. We'll go into here and there'll be a staircase downward for any farm underground like bamboo or any auto crafting that I really want to try to tackle next episode. This area will be kind of our chest room for all the logs because there's so many trees and all the leaves and stairs and all of that. I think it's really good to keep it here. I'm constantly on Instagram and I kind of went for this uh, stair effect that I really like. Let me give the, the credit to the user right now that I saw this from. It is jpcore underscore. That is who I kind of got this tower idea from. And theirs has like this windmill on the front of it, which I think is a awesome idea that I might actually I might try to emulate that style here because it's a little bare right in the center where my cursor is. But other than that, I really like the way that I did the uh, the new tough bricks and all the way kind of this, this slight gradient. I think we need to finish this up so we can get to that trial chamber really quick. Tell me what you think of this. Here we are. Here is the log mill that I've been working forever on. I even delayed the video a bit to try to get this done because this was a lot bigger of a project than I actually realized it was going to be. And that was because we used so much of these tough blocks and I just kept running out of them. But we got this little bridge here. We got so much details got that guy that i just silenced so many cool details that i'm really happy with i tried this overgrown vibe on the roof that i think actually came out pretty good we have this little log mill set up like these are getting chopped off which are really cool let me show you guys inside the tower doesn't have an inside That'll have to be done next episode because of the guy in there. But here is the log storage. So I've already started trying to play some stuff in there, but we'll have each kind of slot dedicated to a wood type. And these will be just for sticks and those kind of things on both sides. Then over here as well, I, I really like the 
campfires as a roof, even though these like have the ashes in them. I really like them. Up here, this is definitely not finished. Let me let me show you guys around. This is definitely not finished. I want to add kind of a, a smaller ceiling. Um, of course, there's a completely open window. And once I eventually get shulker boxes, I'm going to add some cool stuff up here. But for now, it'll take me a while to get all of these filled. So I do like this. So which way do we want to go up? Let's go this way first. Probably next episode, I will start to build out this cliff face just because I don't love how close this is and I want to clear this back a little bit more. But did a little custom riverbed, little bridge, little alleyway, nothing, nothing insane. I like the the windmill how that came out we got these vines headed over this way i added this crane like i added this pretty much right before recording this i think i like it it's a weird spot for it because it's right over a walkway but it's also it's minecraft so why not the thing that I did like about this was kind of having these rails here showing that, you know, they clip the ties and they're lifting up the log. I think it's cool. Definitely interesting. I've also been working on the pathing that will always need a little bit of tweaking, but how this kind of blends together came out awesome. We head down here. I did say that this wall was going to be a future Atlas problem. But I couldn't let myself publish the video without doing it. So look at this. So much detail I put in so many hours into this. Just gathering resources, building these walls out, testing. And again, I'm not really building these in creative. I'm building, if I build anything in creative, it is very general shapes. So for, for example, I went through and kind of designed this in creative, just the shape. And then when I get to survival, I, I like to just run around until it makes sense. So I love the way that this looks kind of seen here, but there's nothing in there. there this isn't really designed to have anything in there. There'll probably be Maybe like a staircase to lead us underground and maybe a staircase to lead us all the way to the top so we can look over our area. Uh, last thing that I, sorry, I'm flying around over here. Added some boulders to give a little ambiance to the area. And I know this area is wide open. I haven't quite decided what I want to do down here. So if you guys have any suggestions, please feel free. I'm happy to read through all the comments and see what you guys would like me to build. Probably some, my idea at least for here is I got to finish this side of the, the wall area, just like on the dock side, and then probably some fields and a path down. I want a little building here, like a little fishing hut or something. But I haven't quite got that far. Now going to the dock, I did add quite a bit of details. Just stacked up some like decorative pots. Got some pumpkins, some hay, some melons. Got a bunch of barrels and bamboo. I have not done this yet. This this side will definitely be a future me problem. But just the way that the tower sticks out and our house and even walking around as as you walk around this space i want to be able to 
slowly start to see detail as we come through. That's why using this diorite calcite wool combo just catches the eye so well. Oh, and last thing I added was this. I had this bone meal like hopper stack. And I decided to just make a little hidden. Uh, what is this called? Imposter compost. What is that called? It's it's late. I made a bone meal setup. I also liked the way I used these pots. Unfortunately, when you kind of fly away, I zoom really quick. Sorry for anyone that gets motion sick. They do disappear because they're entities, but you know, when you're up close, I think it matches the roof and the brick pretty well. The last thing we have to do for this episode is we gotta go back to that trial chamber. Just, we gotta give it a run. We gotta see how it works. I have not tested any of this. And the only reason I'm throwing it in at the end of this episode is because I don't want anyone to spoil it for me. So let's get ready to do the trial chamber. Really quick before we do the trial chamber is I realized I have never shown you guys this area with shaders. These are rethinking voxels shaders. So if you guys want to take a look at and go get those, feel free. But these shaders are my favorite shaders I've ever played with. And I never really play with shaders, but these are some different. The fact that they work so well with all the new blocks are so good. You guys want to see all this, this area with shaders? That just might be the thumbnail. Hold on. There you go. I just want to show you guys the area of shaders. And now to the trial chamber. We are outside of the trial chamber. I have not watched or done anything in preparation. I have no idea. I just know it is a copper dungeon. The only advice I was told was to bring some buckets of milk. So I brought some buckets of milk. We have some building blocks if we need it. Let's let's do this thing. Oh, it's like. Oh, hello. Now let's do this thing. Oh, they have tipped arrows. Oh, hello. Okay, hold up. Ow, ow, poison. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I did not think this was going to be this difficult. Okay. Hold. We need to rethink our actions here. Fear sprinting, we're running. Fear sprinting, we're running. Hold. I am playing in hard, like hard mode. <laughs> Skills is getting blasted back. Okay. How do you attack these guys? Oh my. Okay. Hold on. Hold the phone. Okay, so I can hit him. I'm like cheesing this kind of. I'm just getting an arrow. Ow. Ow. Dude, this is chaos. Oh, oh, hold on. So I don't think I could shoot him with arrows, of course. Put that one. And I was told don't 
kill the spawners. Oh, they just keep, they just keep spawning. Okay. Okay, so we have a bunch of keys. I was told to not break these because we can reuse them in the future. Oh, this has like gear. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, snowballs, that is so true. Oh man, wait. Wait, these are... How do I use this? See, okay. So, see how it's smoking? That, I think, means it's like out of juice right now. Can, can I hit you, please? Hello? Are you like made of invincible? Thank you. Wow. Yes, that feels great. This is wild. So I know they're gonna like spawn in here a bunch. And if you hear my keyboard clicking or my mouse clicking, I apologize. I am redoing my audio setup, but it oh so okay. This a this a new room. Before we do that, I'm just trying to Well, we might as well just take the room on. I'm kind of just doing this so there's no mob spawns. This is intense. Hold on. More intense than I thought it'd be. Did I not? I think you got wind charges from them. It's just kind of what I put together here. They all have poison arrows. Dude, poison is disorienting. Okay, so they're just chilling right now. Emeralds. We'll take those. So I got keys. We got keys for this. Don't know what you do with the keys though. I am learning though. I am learning. Now uh, these. This is. I'm sorry to any Mojang employee that is probably not watching this. I didn't think these would be this cool, but I am confused how. Okay, let me pause and figure out these keys. Okay, I've learned. So these are not the right spawners. Because they will have like a little lock on the front. I found that out two seconds after I said, let me figure this out. We cleared this room. Dude, these are, this is sick. The problem is, is I want to like take all this copper, but oh, this is like somewhere to set your spawn, dude. They they thought of everything. Okay, here we go. Uh, this way. Hanging signs. Okay. Candle. Infinity on this bow is so nice. I'm just waiting for the baby zombie. Did I get anything from this? There you are. Oh, 
dog. Ow. Thank you. So what happens if you spend... Like, don't they recharge? Don't these respawn? Does this help? Okay, some emeralds. Bunch of tough. I will definitely be back here to loot everything, but I'm more or less focused. Hello. Ow. Thank you. Yeah. It's gotta be like, tr oh, 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 no, no, hold, hold, one thing at a time. Yeah, I'm on the second floor. Dude, this thing, how big is this? Okay, so there's a decent amount of loot that you can get in this. I don't know how, like, good Minecraft loot tables really are, but. This is insane now. Oh. Okay, so I saw a staircase at the back of the room. Let me light this up. Back here, let's... I will 100% What? Efficiency 5 silk touch, okay. This does fill your inventory with a bunch of random stuff though so okay that efficiency five dude okay this is incredible i am so here for this my fr my first mending book oh, okay uh this is a bang or run new room Oh, this gets trolly very quickly. Okay. Uh, there. We're booking it. I get it. I don't even know what I got. Oh, my shield is almost broken. We will take that. This is way more intense than I thought it was going to be. Uh, we're, screw it. We're gonna. Just, I forget you can water like this. That is. This is insane. Okay. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. Ow. Thank you. We just got a full sprint. like a million bones push out strength okay he's like this is that a zombie spawner no thank you oh this is like not supposed to be here that is so trolly i was wondering why there's so many zombies all right, I'm going to probably run through this place a couple times to make sure that I am not missing anything. And if I find some, I will let you guys know. Fire armor. Uh, let's get it. Notch apple, okay. These are so many bones that I kind of need. Uh, we don't need this. Section three projectile production. I have a bunch of dirt on me that I don't really need. So you're telling me.
there's there's no chance they added crawl spaces okay there's something here that i'm missing Dude, I want to collect some of these copper blocks too, man. Uh, okay. Now we're just gonna throw the golden carrots. This is so weird. I mean, I'm a huge fan of this, but it's just so weird. Experimental features, you know. This is cool that you can just come down here and farm this though. Trying to get behind cover here. So what's the point of a trial key? Okay, so I've learned that I'm not crazy. And it is just this snapshot that the trial keys don't do anything, but they're good to keep for future. So that is perfect. This has been such a ride. Uh, I was not expecting all of this out of a trial chamber but this is super cool i will definitely be down here as these spawners respawn every 30 minutes so it's some really cool loot that we can do and maybe when the update starts getting closer we can uh start to use these trial keys let me head up to the surface dump my inventory and i'll send you guys out of here well, homies, we're back from the chamber. That was a ton of fun. We found a bunch of loot here. We got some armor, got some, some decent tools. We found the zombie spawner, which is nice. I, I just grabbed one of these oxidized bulbs. Got a notch apple. Got these three super clutch books, which is incredible and a couple stacks of bones, which never hurt. But that is all we have time for in this episode. I sincerely appreciate everyone taking the time to watch these. Uh, these are just for fun, but man, the sport has been unreal. And I seriously love just grinding away on this world. If you guys enjoyed anything that you guys saw today, please just drop like a quick like on the video that actually like I know that that's a super YouTuber -y thing to do, but it sincerely helps the video by pushing it to as many people with more likes it gets. So I would sincerely appreciate if you guys could do that for me. That'd be incredible. Feel free to drop a comment. Tell me what you guys want me to build. I, I saw a bunch of questions and comments, and I'm going to try to get back to all your guys' comments as soon as possible. And maybe there'll be a challenge in the future. But that'll be for next episode. I'll catch you guys later. Peace, friends.